Hello and thank you for watching this video about how to create a bi-weekly project status report in Project 2013. And we will create a project like this one. Sorry, a report like this one. We will have a header, we will have a timeline view, a brief summary, the completed task, activities in progress, upcoming milestones and updates to the RIX log and the issue log and in the next video we will have this same report but work in Excel okay but this time we will work with project only so let's get started first uh, for your header, you can use the, the data like name of the project, or the project ID, name of the project manager, the program manager, if you uh, created the report, the project started date, expected finish date, and the, uh, the dates uh, containing the report. Okay, so let's do the timeline view. And uh, let's open here or project uh, plan and I want to let you know if when you are doing your report you are not getting your expected results maybe you miss some step so you may want to watch my other videos if you are having some difficulties in these other videos you can see step by step uh, how to create the plan and this last one is very important, the how to create a stoplight view because in here I explain how I created the graphic indicators that are the smiling faces that we will use in the report. So let's uh, work with the timeline view, so click in view and timeline. So your timeline will come empty. So you have to double click anywhere in the timeline and then click in format, click in existing task. And here people usually only put the milestones. So you select your milestones and click OK. You can select other tags but maybe will be over uh, too much in your timeline. OK, so just click again in format and then we will copy this timeline copy timeline and for presentation so let's open here our word and just right click and paste so here a good thing is that you can edit you can edit here your timeline if you need to do some last minute changes, you can do it if you copy paste instead of taking a screenshot. So let's do the completed task. So let's go again. Let's take out the timeline. And we will apply a filter, view, filter, completed task. And then go to tables and cost. Okay, so here we will basically just uh, take a screenshot of these results. I think here something is missing. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Let's just take the screenshot with the snipping tool, these little scissors click in new and select the area that you want to copy okay okay so I did copy and let's go to work and just click in paste It's too big. Let's do it a little bit smaller. More. Okay, like that. Now 
activities in progress. Okay, we will go here again and view filter more filters and in progress task and click apply and again we will take a screenshot new and select Copy and paste. Okay, and here for the milestones, we can do it in two ways. Here you have in filter, more filters, you have in uh, upcoming milestones here uh, milest milestones due this month apply so you can do it here with this um, uh, filter or uh, you can do it i did it here from the report because it's already done here in progress milestone report here i just copy paste this table milestone due this month just copy paste in your word it's basically the same one and uh, next if you have uh, your rigs log if you have any update to your rigs log and to your issue log you can just add it in your report for your issue log if you don't have um, you can just create a new one if you want to use my same template, you can just come here to my website, Ayanavido website, and then click in resources. And then here you have the uh, RIGS log, and you have the issue log. Or you can use Google, another one that if you want to use a different one, there are many here in Google. So you can create your own issue log, or as I say, you can just copy paste from mine. And basically that's how you can do um, the report using a project. And that's it. In the next video, we will use Excel. So don't miss the next video. And thank you for watching.